Andre Bazin is the most influential film theorist and critic in maybe all of cinema's hundred year history. If you've ever used the word auteur to describe a filmmaker, you have Bazin to thank for that, and maybe a lot more. So who was Andre Bazin, and why should we even care? Here's a quick breakdown, but if you're looking for more analysis, I recommend you take a look at our more comprehensive look at the man and his times here. Andre Bazin was born in France in 1918 and died in 1958 of leukemia. In the course of his 40 years, he would lay the groundwork and popularize the practice of film theory. In 1951, Bazin co-founded world-renowned film magazine, Cahiers du Cinéma, and would continue editing the magazine until his death. His writings were then published posthumously in a four-volume collection titled, What is Cinema? What is Cinema is, if not the greatest single contribution to film theory, every bit as groundbreaking as Kuleshov's and Eisenstein's work before Bazin, or Bordwell's body of work after him. Bazin responded to Kuleshov's montage theory and developed his own philosophy of cinema. In contrast to Russian ideas of montage, which Bazin feared distorted objective reality and could manipulate viewers to political ends, Bazin instead argued that films should depict reality as accurately as possible, favoring directors who made themselves invisible and relied on deep focus, wide shots, and continuity through mise-en-scene over editing and special effects. For him, the interpretation of the film should be left to the spectator. Although he favored directors who made themselves invisible in the edit, this is not to say he wasn't a major proponent of directorial vision. The exact opposite is actually true. Bazin argued that a director was the true artist of a film and that films should be personally linked to a director's vision. A critic of another time, Bazin believed in appreciative criticism, the practice where critics only reviewed films they liked, thus encouraging constructive criticism. Film criticism to Bazin should be a constructive process, where theorists and filmmakers responded to each other and through this feedback, the art of cinema would grow. This said, Bazin probably wouldn't have been a fan of Rotten Tomatoes. So this was just a little tiny look at Andre Bazin. If you want more, I recommend you check out our Timeline of World Cinema series, particularly the episode on the French New Wave. That video might give you a better answer to the question, who was Andre Bazin? As always, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe for more. And also, I'd like to know what you think about Andre Bazin and his film theories in the comment section below.